eyes have it. The eyes have it. We're now coming to three petitions. Petition, Clive Effort. Mr Deputy Speaker, I wish to present a petition on behalf of those infected and affected by the contaminated blood scandal, particularly on behalf of my constituents Mary Grindley and Lee Morey. Lee was a pupil at the Trelaws boarding school where many children with haemophilia were given contaminated blood products. Mary was married to her husband John, who died of AIDS aged 41 years of age. Mary has campaigned tirelessly for justice for her husband and thousands like him for over 40 years. The petition of the residents of the constituency of Eltham declares that people who received infected blood and who have suffered as a consequence have, long, along with their families, waited far too long for redress. The petitioners therefore request that the House urges the Government to implement the recommendations in the second interim report of the infected blood inquiry without delay, and petitioners remain, etc. Petition Recommendations of the Infected Blood Inquiry. Thank you. Petition Alan Dorrance. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Good afternoon. Mr Deputy Speaker, I rise to present this petition owing to the budget failing to provide for any allocation of money to those infected and affected by the contaminated blood scandal. The final compensation recommendations were made by Sir Brian Langstaff, the Chair of the Infected Blood in Public Inquiry, in April 2023. This House voted in December 2023 to establish a body to pay compensation as an amendment to the Victims and Prisoners Bill. With two victims of the scandal dying on average every week, justice delayed is justice denied. Mr Deputy Speaker, the petition states, the petition of residents of the constituency of Ayr, Carrick and Cumnock declares that people who received infected blood and who have suffered as a consequence have, along with their families, waited far too long for redress. The petitioners therefore request the House of Commons urges the Government to implement the recommendations in the second interim report of the infected blood inquiry without delay, and the petitioners remain, etc. Petition Recommendations of the Infected Blood Inquiry. Thank you. Petition Janet Davy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I rise to present this petition on behalf of Phoebe's Place residents in Lewisham East. It recognises that my constituents who live in shared ownership housing in Catford are being affected by rent increases of 9% and service charge increases of up to 62% by their housing provider, Moat Housing. I understand that the building needs to be maintained, however this huge rise is not the fault of the residents and Moat Housing must ensure that residents are not left with sudden, unexpected costs. The petitioners therefore request the House of Commons to call for Moat Housing to review their decision and that any increase in this year and in future years remain at the very least in line with inflation. Petition Rent and Service Charge Increases in Lewisham East. Thank you very much. Have a good Easter. Thank you. Thank you. 